Hey everyone, I thought I'd share something special with you. I just got this uh, birthday present from my lovely wife, and you might notice the uh, the logo on there. Well, we're going to scope this out, and I'm going to explain what it is, and Chris Monk is going to help me. So let's take a look at what we got here. So this is my birthday present from my beautiful wife, Sue, the chief fun officer at Topher Spin Meteorites. And I really think this is a very, very, very cool present. And uh, it's nice because it's not just a single piece. It is a collection. That is complete. When I open this up, I'm like, holy crap, how many COAs do I get? Whoa. Are you kidding me? So this is probably going to be hung on the wall when all said and done. Oh, cool. You really knocked it out of the park, Chris. Yeah. That's really nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what is really cool about this is these are all Chris Monk's classifications. Cool. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. So... I figured I'd show them off to you super quickly. And we have a um, we have some updates. <clears throat> Chris, uh, I'll let you jump in whenever you want, man. Go ahead and talk over me if you need to. Because um, some of these, oh, look at this. The, his first classification, a CV3. Nice. So there's actually some, there's actually some cool things. Um, in there that I, I tried to incorporate as much as possible. So my very first classification is that one. It is 14837. That one was classified at the exact same time as 18438, which is also a CV3. And I went through, so event here in a second, Topher, if you could pull them out, next to each other the two cv3s they they're very different in in their color and the texture the amount of cais that kind of thing like they look totally different that piece right there that topher's holding is actually the piece i cut the thin section sample for for my close classification and there's I actually two or three of them in there that were the piece that I cut off for my classification. And you know, I dig that so much, man. I was, I was so like, cool. are you kidding me? That is way cool. The, the that's, craziest that's part that's about that's this cool. one is so 14838 was a series of little tiny stones. All of them were under 14 grams and there was probably a hundred of them. Nice. And, and the biggest, when I was getting ready for the classification, I was just like, oh, which one's good for cutting? So I grabbed the biggest one that was like 14 grams and I cut it in half and then I cut a piece off and sent it off for classification. But I realized after the fact, because I was very new at this, that that was the main mass. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so you're holding half of the original main mass. <laughs> oh, type, wow. specimen, type specimen, too. Yeah. yeah. And, and the yeah. type specimen. I know. That's what, was, that's what was getting me. I was like, oh, my God. I got the type, the yeah. sister the slice thing. to the thin section, man. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, what a great gift. Next we are on to an H4. So this is NWA 15284. And I love this surface area, buddy. Mm. So that one, <laughs> there was also an issue when I was trying to do this. And, and I don't know Whoa. how deep we want to get into this. But so Sue reached out to me and said, hey, I, I want to like, what do you have? I want to get like Topher, one of your your classifications. And I was like, well, I have this and I have that. And we were undecided on what we wanted to get. And I was like, how about let's do uh, just a small piece of each one of my collection. Let's 
put it in like a shadow box and and she loved that idea so we went forward with that and some of the pieces i have are too big to fit in those <laughs> gem jars so that piece was actually a bigger piece that i had to cut just to narrowly fit <laughs> into that that gem jar and there were several pieces like that um uh, this one and the, the diagonite caught me by surprise or i don't um, uh, this one right here when we get to that one yes <laughs> holy crap um, these are so cool yeah i was like this is maximum surface and they're thick ass wedges and slice not wedges but slices yeah that you was I mean? before i got the wire saw um only followed by an h5 and all of these ordinary chondrites the h4 h5 l5 were all my attempt in getting my first l3 <laughs> via pictures from northwest africa Ooh. Mm -hmm. that's what was so amazing the size of these like uh, collections like these usually have like tiny little pieces or yeah you know they're little micros like this this was amazing yeah, yeah. That, it's a really good hand sample uh, well i wouldn't say hand sample but it, it's a great representative slice not just a fragment of it yeah and they're all all labeled yeah did a really good job on this chris i really appreciate it thank you man i'm really glad you like it yeah I'm, that I'm is super cool super glad sue got this let's uh wow. keep us spinning um oh now we move into a rumor rudy sexy stuff one of six chris <laughs> yes l4 to l4 to five Nope. One of R six. To, R four to five. R, sorry, sorry. R four to five. Um, this one, this piece right here, was actually one of the first pieces I cut on my wire saw. It was just one of my practice pieces. So I was like, "Well, what can I cut next to try <laughs> something different?" And so I cut this piece, and I was still in outage, and I was doing it, you know, in in the middle of the night on my only night off, and it fit really well in the case and i was like yeah that mm -hmm. looks really good as a representative and had some nice and uh chondrils in there and some some Bright colors and, yeah yeah it's a it's a nice one dude i can't even tell you how how pumped i am to look at these all under the microscope man and it's so cool because i can bring the case over there and look at all of them at the same time yeah it's just and have different types like this was a you know a rumor rudy now we have an LL3. Well, no, no, no. LLL. This is one of 24. Yeah, I was really surprised with that classification. And if you guys were all there, I was super pumped that night. I got that classification, got published in when we were in Tucson. Yep. And I was like, holy cow, I have an LL. L. Three. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Somebody explain it to me. Where's Mike? Nice cheese. Yeah, it's really cool. Look at that, man. Packed with chondrules. Yeah. Packed with chondrules. Does Very anybody know what the? Hey, Pat, what does that L L L mean? Well, so there's there's a couple of ways that's used, but generally what it means is that it'll have one one aspect that is L-like, like say for instance, the amount of magnesium versus iron in the chondrules, but yet it may have another characteristic that's more like LL, like perhaps the average size of the chondrule. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one is super badass, buddy. That's very, very So they yeah, call it that, that whole so set cool. is so classy. I've never, that is the coolest thing I have ever seen. And it's so perfectly put together. Yeah. But the colors and everything, th it, that is classy. I'm, I'm, that is top notch. I'm impressed. I, I, it's so cool. Thank you. You would not expect to get nine grams of Howardite into a case. <laughs> oh no, that's amazing. That was another one I had to cut. <laughs> God, dude, I'll be honest with you, man. It's my first time opening these up, Chris. This one I, Fantastic, I originally thought was a Eucrite, 
And this is the one, I don't remember if you guys remember me talking about this, but I bought one as a Ukrite and it turned out to be a Howardite. And then I bought another one as a Howardite and I thought it turned out to be a Ukrite. However, I, I don't know if I said that right. Yeah. But this one was supposed to be a Ukrite, turned out to be a Howardite. And the other one I thought was a Howardite turned out to be a Ukrite. This one was super cool. It was a single stone, I think 346 grams, but super awesome. Howard yeah, Eitan, it has cool. metal in it. I, I That is so weird, dude. Yeah, this is a Howard Eitan, but it's on the other side. Like, it'll hold them. Look at it. That's crazy. Out. I've never seen that. Well, we've never applied a magnet to any of our Howard Eitans. No, we haven't. We didn't expect On this side, it sticks magnet. right away. Yeah, there's, wow. There's something right there. Yeah, yeah there's, some, be, there's some blubs of iron in there. That's impressive. Probably from the impactor that sent it flying. Wow. But yeah, that's a that beautiful, is very, very cool. That is a lot a of crust. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Very Man. nice. Yeah, this is the Howard. I see it's hard to get back in the case, dude. Yeah, it, it barely fits. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Okay, so that's the Howardite. I love this, man. This is this is this is so cool. This this is like boss level when you can achieve this in your own classifications. A Howardite, a Ukrite, and a Diagonite. Possible, but let's go to the Ukrite. This is uh, just under four grams of beautiful stuff. So I I brought this one to Tucson, and so some of you guys got to see it. But I I don't remember what the, mm. the total weight of this one is. It's something like 1,600 grams. But mm. I have a bunch of individuals crusted. I was trying to get something that fit in the case and gave good, like, features that you could, you could see. So I decided to go with this slice. And I don't think that slice is even very big. It's like two grams. Um, it looks really cool, four. though. It's yeah, just under four. Just under, so yeah, just under four grams, but it, it just gave, and if you look at the texture in it, that's why I thought it was a Howardite. It just mm -hmm. has all these little clasps in yeah. it. There's a yeah. couple little blebs of metal, and it's just really cool. Yeah, a lot of different textures in the clasps. Yeah. Yeah, that's really like, almost like a block of cement is so much stuff. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say, Chris, maybe not for all of these, but I would imagine most of these you have some available in inventory to sell other people? Oh, all of them. Okay. Just want to make sure. So in, in case bulk. anyone wants <laughs> to reach out to Chris Monk, Rocks on the Ground, you can do it on, on uh, Facebook or reach out to me on YouTube and I'll put you in contact. This one is a possible and it's not classified. Please tell me more. Okay. So for Sue's present, the proposed idea was... I was going to send you all of my officially published classifications. Well, when that was said and done, I had three empty jars. <laughs> so I said, well, I didn't give Topher anything for his birthday. So the three that are not classified are gifts from me for your oh, birthday. Nice. And those are all very soon to be classified. So this is a diagonite. This completes the D in the H E D. The of Holy my, Trinity. <laughs> yeah, of, of my classifications. So, and this one's it's very friable, surprisingly. Yeah. And um, I had a real tough time deciding on how much I wanted to polish it. But yeah. it super lightweight very friable almost like a, a, a cm or something it, it, it seems it's very light but I'm yeah it, it is very light no magnetism whatsoever shock vein a lot of it, shock veins it's super cool man that chris thank nice. you thank you very much man i appreciate it wow, that's very very nice you're welcome but i yeah i couldn't give I you wanted, the he without the d no dude i you, uh, I'm very, very thankful, but you owe me a new COA when it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's the possible diagonite. Wow. Now we're moving to an official 1.5 L5. <laughs> Funny story about this one. 
This one actually started out to be about four grams. Ooh. And I got a new set of lap discs and I was sitting there polishing it and I was like, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. and I forgot how aggressive new laps are. And so now it weighs like 1.5. <laughs> 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 wow nice. this is an l5 uh nwa one four no 15436 i think I'm trying to get that flash in the metal <laughs> yeah metal there. yeah yeah this has more metal than your lll yeah i think that one that one was uh, again another attempt at a, an l3 over the internet that i submitted i can't remember and i'll have to get back to you on this one but there was one of them and that might be it that was actually a oriented stone with bubbly fusion crust on the back that i cut because i wanted to classify it <laughs> and uh -huh. so for the full version of whichever stone that is um yeah there's side view oriented slices available <laughs> I gotta, I gotta see that man. Uh, so this is uh, another unclassified, a monk man birthday gift. So this one is probably the coolest one in the collection. So this one will probably be the first one that has a possibly has a name, not an nice. NWA number. I have coordinates um, for this one. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you'll notice that it has a city next to the the country. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have um, coordinates for this one. So I'm hoping they allow that and give it a name. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be. So it's too good? Mm -hmm. how, very I, I'm not for sure how you pronounce that. That is interesting. Look, dude, this is going to be a, I'm going to grab a hard cider and sit by my microscope and enjoy this, man. Yeah, you need yeah. to look at that, that under great. a microscope. Wow. Any of those look like they'd be good under a microscope. And last but not least, does he have his L3, guys? Did he find it? <laughs> is this the end? This one is certainly going to come back as L3 or LL3. Mm. Wow, there's lots of metal mm. in there, man. Yeah, that looks pretty pretty close. Pretty nice congruence. Yeah. That might just be the winner, man. Wow. Yeah, it seems to have more metal, so... I'm going with that's the first official L3. Hmm. That'll be pretty sweet. Yeah, I could but see. But we'll that. have to see. To that be is... determined. Ah. Yep. This is amazing, man. So Sue and Chris Monk, thank you so much. This is a really cool gift. And yeah. I, I really appreciate the extra attention and love you put in there, Chris. So for those who uh, need more meteorites and don't know where to buy them, <laughs> Anything that you saw here, Chris Monk has available for sale. Yes, Chris, sir. Thanks a lot, man. Always happy to give you a plug, buddy. Thank you, sir. All yeah. right. Cool. We're logging off for nice now. Stuff. Take care and have a great week, everyone.